hey you guys welcome back to my channel so yes you guys i know i have been m.i.a and um i'm sorry like i'm sorry i did recently just put out two new songs so check them out on soundcloud i believe i uploaded another one i believe i uploaded my first one which is called money i uploaded that on my youtube channel so just check that out but yes you guys what have you guys been up to it's been a long time since i've like sat down got cute and talked with you guys like it's been forever but let's do a little catch-up time let's do a little catch-up time so for like a natural hair day today i really didn't want to do too much with my hair so i just put a little product in it wash and go and boom. fall semester is over like fall semester is done i'm so happy i did pass all my classes um i actually was taking medical terminology i took general biology i took um i took english so compository writing and i also took psychology and it was general psychology but you guys this college experience has been like very eye-opening um when it came down to studying and it came down to submitting your work on time i've paged letters it's just been it's just been one hell of an experience you guys in my first year i took summer classes and then i jumped immediately into the fall and i'm just so happy like this whole college experience has been so fun okay if you were wondering what the college experience is like let me tell you guys some tea okay this is basically independent okay what i mean by independent is like whether you fail or succeed is definitely up to you um i believe when i took my summer classes okay this is the whole story okay so like i said i got into summer summer classes or whatever and i took biology and i took english and those were the only two classes that i took mind you i am a surgical tech major so i needed to take development to math because they only offer the surgical tech program in the fall you guys when i tell you how stressed out i am right now i'm stressed out you know why because i'm not gonna be able to get into the surgical tech program on time you know why because i didn't take those developmental math classes early on and I just want to let anyone out there let you guys know take those developmental math classes first just get that out of the way because i took the biology i took english and all my other courses but the main one that i needed to focus on was developmental math because i had this thing in my head where i could take math <laughs> i could like put math off and take it later because i'm thinking oh it'll just be five week courses five week classes you guys no it's a full semester worth of development to math so that means 2019 i will be taking development to math in the spring in the summer and the fall and then that next fall i'll be able to get into the program so you like i'm not graduating on time which is so annoying me and it's i can't blame nobody it's my fault so yes Take those developmental classes first and worry about everything else later because it's so easy. Um, as far as biology goes, you guys, I took biology in the summer. It was a five-week class. It went so fast. I had to withdraw from the class because, you guys, I had a D, okay? I had a D in that class and I just, I just wasn't catching on quick enough. I wasn't studying like I should have been and... It just was not working. It was not working. I had to withdraw. I withdrew at the last minute, but I was, I was, I was, ra I rather have withdrew than to receive a D or F in that class. Like I did not want that on my transcript. Um, so that's just what I had to do. I bombed that class. I'm not going. <laughs> you guys, I bombed that class. I'm not going to even lie, but 
I took it a second time around, so I immediately jumped back into biology again in my fall semester. And I did pass. I passed all of my classes for the fall semester. I passed all of my classes in the summer semester except for that biology class, which I withdrew from. But I passed all of my classes, and I'm just so happy, you guys, because this has been a truly wonderful experience and i'm not even done as far as making friends go and like getting close with your professors that is definitely something you want to do so when you have those group sessions and you're working together on things i definitely would recommend um getting to know your peers um I would definitely say get into some study groups to each other, chop it up, and just pick their brains a little. You always want to make connections. You always want to be the friendly person. So you definitely want to make sure you, you know, just make friends and socialize and definitely find your favorite professor because you will definitely, um, you will want to eventually get a letter of recommendation if you plan on moving on and transferring to another school. Second of all, I would like to say that, you guys, I want you to know that um, managing your time is very important. So, those late nights when your friends want to go turn up at the club or your boo wants to have a little cuddle session, sometimes you have to make sure that you put those on hold because you do have... You do have more important obligations and you just don't want to get behind in any of your classes due to not studying and not reviewing the material. So I do recommend that you guys just have some sort of balance when dealing with relationships and friendships and managing school. Because at the end of the day, this is very important. You're spending your money. You um, might have taken out a loan. So you definitely want to make sure that you stay on the right track and you don't get distracted. It's easy for us to get distracted, you know, because we're human. We want to have fun. We want to be around the loved ones and all those great things. But sometimes you gotta put that on hold, boo. Sometimes you gotta put that on hold. So it's okay, you know, just make sure you stay on top of all your classes. That's the most important thing. So you guys, I am so, um, I'm so surprised that I even passed this medical terminology class because you guys, I swear to you, my medical teacher, his, he's crazy. Something is really wrong with him. Like he is cool, whatever, but though i don't like his teaching style and i'm not gonna just say oh well you don't teach how i want you to teach so i can't pass this class that's not what i'm saying but what i will say is his teaching style is very it's very unique um <laughs> i've never came across a teacher like him before so i do i would say that my medical terminology class was more so of me teaching myself um and I'm just like, wow, I could have just did an online class, you know, but um, you live and you learn. It's not that big of a deal, but I did pass this class with a C, and I'm very shocked that I passed this class with a C. I really thought I was going to have to take that class over, and you guys know, I already took biology twice, and, I, and for me to have to take medical terminology again, I was just like, ugh, I was dreading it, so... You guys, this has been a rocky fall semester for me. I cannot lie. I cannot say that, oh, it's just been smooth sailing and this and this and this. No, it has been a long four and a half months. Um, this is, has this has been a very long journey. And it's not even over, you know what I'm saying? It's just beginning and I'm just like so shocked. Like, But I'm so proud of myself for sticking through it. I'm glad I didn't have to repeat any classes for the fall semester. So all of that is out of the way. So now I'm just trying to think about um, this break, okay? So we, we do have a long break. Classes are um, starting again on January 22nd. So we have a long, we have a long winter break, you guys. I believe it is December 18th, um, hopefully, okay? <laughs> because I don't, guys, I'm not at school. I don't know what the date is, okay? I didn't check my phone today to see to look at the date okay so i believe it's december 18th you guys and um yeah like i was saying we start classes again on january 22nd so 
Spring semester, I'm taking developmental math and I'm taking um, interpersonal communications. And I am just, I'm ready. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm ready. Like, I don't mind this break, but, but I am so ready to jump back into it. Um, I don't wanna get in, I don't wanna get in the habit of taking like long breaks and just get really comfortable with not going to school. So I did register for all morning classes. Um, I am not a morning person, but with school, I am a morning person. I do make sure I get up. Um, so, you know, to help, to help yourself, if you're not a morning person, I would suggest get go to sleep early. Um, don't be online scrolling. I know how we get. We scroll on Instagram. We scroll on Twitter. We want to Snapchat with those cute filters in the bed. I know, sis. I know. But um, you have to take this serious and getting. Uh, getting a good amount of sleep per night is very it's very important so i would suggest going to bed around like 10 10 30 you know around that time maybe 11 it all depends on what time you have your classes so i believe all of my classes start in the morning so they're like 10 o'clock classes 11 o'clock classes so i could afford to go to sleep around 10 30 11 because i don't need much sleep i just need enough you know to not feel groggy in the morning so i would like to so in the morning time i like to um just relax wake up a little early just relax and stretch out and just you know have that me time um maybe get some coffee make something to eat so if you guys want to see my like morning routine for school um just let me know i think i am going to do that on the first day back so you just got you know just stay tuned for that video i am going to show you guys that and you um yeah this this college experience is wonderful i recommend anyone to go to college chase your dreams most people are saying like college is not worth it but i disagree um being someone who comes from a retail background and one who has worked receptionist jobs and um just numerous jobs i believe that it <laughs> minimum wage is not fun so i believe that you should go to school um I believe that you should go to school and get a degree so and not not just stay there you know move on and continue to get degrees 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 um there are many scholarships and grants out here so you don't have to worry about taking out so many loans and um yeah so just i would say try to go to college and find something that you're interested in i have not always been interested in surgical tech i didn't even know what a surgical tech was um i definitely did some research in the healthcare field because i knew that i wanted to be in the healthcare field i believe at that time i thought to myself the healthcare field is very promising there was there will always be jobs and i believe that i was looking online i saw that the healthcare and like the computer field they had a trend um it will always rise with pay with openings and positions so i felt that me being in the healthcare field fit more of my personality and um computers was just wasn't it for me i love computers but it just it wouldn't satisfy me um i'm a movie person and i have to move i have to do stuff with my hands i have to be proactive so i didn't believe that the computer route would fulfill those needs of mine so i did jump into the healthcare field um do i plan to stay a surgical tech no i do not plan to stay a surgical tech i do want to eventually move on so i can get into the physician assistant program so that is my long-term goal um i do i will work as a surgical tech for i would i would say I'm, I'm i'm thinking about three and a half four years um just so i can get that experience and that time you know under the belt um that patient care experience um how it feels to be in a hospital i love surgery i am a very you guys i am a great anatomy like 
<laughs> I am a great anatomy like binger. I could watch the I could watch the whole season from start to finish back to back. I love everything about surgery. I love I just love it. And um hey you guys. So my camera actually died while I was recording. So I just want to finish off this video, get back into what I was talking about. And I'm actually standing by this beautiful tree, you guys. So we have like a little presence out or whatever. It's actually a lot. Um, let me see if I could, I don't know if I could switch the camera, but as you can see, we actually have a lot of stuff out already. But yeah, I just wanted to finish off this video. Um, I'm so sad my camera died, but I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow because I think I wanna get into this vlogging thing. Like, I haven't been catching up with you guys, so I don't really know where I stopped at, what I was talking about, but I think I was talking about um, the importance of getting your degree. And I just wanna wrap that up, just saying, yeah, I think it's very important that you guys go after your dreams and do that. I think this lighting is better right here. So, yeah go chase your dreams get that degree um you could do it if i could do it you could do it um it's really not hard people think college is hard and it's really not hard um the material is straightforward they teach you you ha that's why you it's important to study your material and it's really easy you guys it's really not that hard so you know if you're interested i would say um visit your community college in your area and look at the um, look at the programs and the courses that they're offering and just see what um just see what you might like. Um I would suggest looking it up. So YouTube <laughs> YouTube is very, very informative. Respiratory therapist program, all you will have to do is to type that into YouTube and see how the how what is a day in the life of a respi respiratory therapist. I'm sorry you guys, I'm using my phone, so I am moving my phone a lot. I apologize for that. I'm using my, I'm holding my phone, you guys, with my hand and like, uh, my arm is hurting already. So, I did have like a little, I know my mom has like a little, um, a little thingy that you can hold your phone on and record like a handheld tripod thingy for your phone, but I don't know where it is right now. But yes, um, so yeah, um, my college experience has been great so far. Um, you know, it's not far from where I live. It's actually very close. Um, it's about 20, 20 minutes away. Not really too bad. 20, 25 minutes. It really depends on traffic actually. But yeah, it's been cool so far. I'm loving it. Um, I'm really excited to get into the surgical tech program. It starts Unfortunately, I will have to get in fall 2020. Um, so I put a year. I'm back a year, you guys. I'm so pissed off. Like, if I have to figure out, is there a way I can advance through these developments of math classes or something? And I don't know. We're just going to have to figure it out. But if not, then whatever. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that I'm just starting the surgical tech program in 2020, which I'm so upset about. Um, I did think about changing my major so I can graduate on time, but I was going to consider changing my major to biology, but with an associate's degree, I don't believe, <laughs> I don't believe there's any jobs out here for that. Um, I did look it up and I really didn't see anything that will be um, beneficial for me, so... Uh, I might have to stick it out and just graduate later. Um, so I was thinking um, the whole reason why I wanted to graduate on time was because I need I want to work as a surgical tech while I'm pursuing my bachelor's, you know, and I could just save up some money because when you're in the physician assistant program, you can't work for two years. Um, it's just like med school, so you have to be very... Uh, you have to be very dedicated. Um, there's no time for working because when you're not in school, you definitely should be studying. Um, so uh, it's like, geez. So that's why I wanted to. I'm just going to be back here. That's that's really all it is. So um, 
while I'm work while I am pursuing this associate's degree at my community college, um, I came across a phlebotomy program and they offer scholarships so I am qualified to get into the phlebotomy class so I am so you know so I just went and got all of my documents that I needed I had to type up a 200 to 300 word essay so I'm probably going to do that later on tonight um, I've been putting that off but it's due January 8th and like I said I believe it's like the 18th today let me see where's my phone oh i'm you on my phone <laughs> so yeah i believe it's like the 18th today and so i'm just trying to find some lighting here okay let's do this okay so basically um the phlebotomy program the lady was telling me that um it's scholarship based so i could get a scholarship um if i am approved i got an awesome recommendation letter so I think it's going to go very well. Um, I think phlebotomy will give me some good experience with patients, um, learn some new things, and I am so excited to get into that class. That class actually starts January 2nd as well. Um, it's a night class, which I am stoked about because I do have morning classes on certain days and it just gives me time to just like relax and you know maybe take a nap eat some dinner and then go to the class um later on that night it's from 6 30 to 9 so it's not too bad um yeah and then you do clinicals so i'm excited for that i can't wait to experience clinicals <laughs> So we'll see how the phlebotomy thing goes. If I am accepted, which I should be, because I am going to, I'm going to finesse this recommendation, this um essay. I got my, like I said, my recommendation letter is very, very well put together. Um, so yeah, the rest is just up to me. I have to, you know bang this um essay out which i will because i took college you know i took um, english and yeah i'm gonna put it all together um that's really it um is there any cons about school i think the cons are that you just miss out on a lot of things that you might want to do with your friends um for me taking four classes i still had I still had time to do like things that I wanted to do and it makes sense because <laughs> it makes sense because like some of my grades were C's. Yeah, so like if you're not making really if you're not putting so much effort and time into your studies, you're you're definitely probably gonna get C. Um, maybe a failing grade. So you don't wanna do that. I know next semester I am planning to fully commit to studying like i'm supposed to <laughs> i am going to fully commit to studying like i'm supposed to um even though i'm only taking two classes i am taking if if i do get accepted into that phlebotomy class i am really gonna have to like focus and like really study um i would say to the girls out there don't get too wrapped up in these boys and these men um because at the end of the day you're on a personal journey to bettering your career and your financial status and the guys that you probably are dealing with they probably already have it together so you want to just make sure that you're um really concentrating on the bettering of oneself um you don't want to get too wrapped up in your feelings and emotions because at the end of the day at the end of the day um, you want to secure the bag, right? You want to secure your future. So just don't be so like me. Oh my gosh. I love to be, um, I love to be up under like a boo thing or whatever, but you know, you got to calm that down, <laughs> calm that little thing down and you have to like really get your head on your, sh you know, get your head straight. So, I would recommend don't get too caught up in wanting to hang out all the time. Um, those times that you want to hang out with someone, you should probably be studying. That's way more important. And, um, yeah, I think that's way more important. 
so another thing I want to talk about with you guys before I go um I just want to give you guys words of encouragement so all of you that is in school right now well you're done obviously it's fall you know it's in a fall semester um I just want to know how you're going to spend this extra time off from school I think that I'm going to actually go over my medical terminology book because I still have the book because I actually had to buy the book. So I think I'm going to just go over my medical terminology because like I said, I got a C in that class and I didn't do, I don't think I retained the information as well as I should have. There's a lot of terminology that you need to know and I think that how I will spend my fall semester is basically just going over medical terminology. That's really how I plan to spend my um my break. And um of course we've been out of school for about two days because fall semester ended on the Friday. It's actually Tuesday and I've just been resting for real, um just chilling, but I definitely will tomorrow is like a fresh day for me. It's Wednesday. And I am going to get back into my medical terminology book and going back and over, going back over the material. Just so um, you don't want to be the weak link, right? You don't want to be the weak link. So you want to make sure that you're caught up on all your studies and you're actually learning and knowing what you're doing. Um, you don't want to be the one who doesn't know because that's a horrible feeling. You want to be just as great as your peers. So you want to make sure that you're studying on like you're supposed to be doing because knowledge is power you know so that's how i'm going to spend my fall semester break so just guys let me know what you guys plan to do for your fall semester are you excited to get back into school in january um are you changing your majors um just what you guys plan to do are you traveling i am actually going on a winter trip with some friends we're going to um what's the what's the word i forgot it was called um it's like some cabin or whatever. I don't know really the name of it. Mass and nothing, not something like that. I don't know. Um, so we're planning on going there, meeting a group of friends, and yeah, I'll probably take my my medical terminology book with me so I could just catch up on some studying or whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so that about wraps up this video for you guys. I try I'ma try to vlog more so I could like really talk about like college and my experience with it and how it's going so i will guys i will let you guys know more i think i'm gonna do a video tomorrow too just to talk more because my camera should be charged by then and i could just use my camera because right now i'm just using my phone and my arm is like killing me so i will talk about my college experience more tomorrow um like i said i'm gonna try to push out that get ready with me um, when, once school, once spring semester starts, I can do that first day, get ready with me. Uh, I also want to, I, that, this is why I really want to get into that phlebotomy class so I could just show you guys the journey of being a phlebotomist. Do I want to become a phlebotomist for, like, do I want to be a phlebotomist forever? No. I'm just, I need this job so I could work while I'm in school and I didn't, I wanted to be in the healthcare field, but I didn't want to, like, retail whack job making no money because i think phlebotomists in our area in the maryland area phlebotomists can make like 14 to 15 dollars an hour and it's not as great as like a surgical tech because a surgical tech in our area they make like 25 to 38 dollars an hour um which i cannot wait for and i'm pretty sure that that salary is going to increase two years from now so that'll be so like great and so i just want to get that phlebotomy experience down i want to know how it feels to just be in charge you know to see patients to draw blood um i'm excited for that so i can't wait for that journey i am going to vlog that whole journey i want you guys to see if i'm allowed to record i definitely am going to, i'm going to do that but like i said i'm going to talk more with you guys about this whole experience um i just want to shoot this get this video out just to let you guys know what i've been up to the things i've been doing and that's really it so if you like if you like <laughs> if you like this video just give me some thumbs up and i will see you guys next time okay bye